Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I really want to talk about is GameStop stock dead? Should you buy it? Should you stay away from it? What's going on with it? So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you get anything in value, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask them down in the comments. And if you guys want to learn more about investing in the stock market, go ahead and check out my course. And you guys can use promo code DIVIDENDS to get 50% off. And hey guys, I have some news. We got our merch in. So make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link to it down below. We have hoodies, t-shirts, crewnecks, everything, and even a fanny pack here. But also this week I will be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So now let's jump into it. GameStop, here we come. Roll that intro. Let's go. Bam! Now over the past couple of weeks, we've really seen GameStop go from like $15 all the way up to $513 before selling off a little bit down to about $60 per share as of Friday. So now a lot of investors and a lot of beginner investors are saying, well, the stock sold off. Should I buy it now? Is it undervalued? Is it overvalued? What's going on? Well, the thing about it is GameStop for me is still a very, very risky investment. The reason why I say that is because over the past couple of years, they've had declining revenue on every single earnings. The only good earnings they had was all the way back in 2018 with a 7% earnings increase. And I do think that is not very good because all the other ones are 29% decreases of revenue, 39 decrease uh, percent in revenue. So the company's losing money, it's closing stores. And the thing about GameStop is when you evaluate a company, you want a company that's growing, you want a company that's killing it really, but GameStop just recently closed thousands of stores, so it's not looking good for the future. So now GameStop does have a negative 5% margin rate, and for those of you that don't know what that means, it's not very good. For every $100 GameStop actually brings in, they lose $5. It's terrible and it's really not very good. So now the thing about GameStop here that's very, very concerning for me is if that's say they were going to sell everything they have. That'd be right around $2 billion in assets, okay? And I know that sounds very, very good, but here's the thing. GameStop is trading for 60 bucks a share, which is giving it a market evaluation right at $4 billion. So pretty much, if they sold everything in the company, they only have $2 billion, but people are saying it's actually worth $4 billion. So do you see the thing that's a little concerning is there's this $2 billion that it's overvalued. So now I know a lot of retail investors really want to hop into this business because there's a short squeeze possibility because this is one of the most shorted stocks and they want to hurt those hedge funds. But the thing about it is I would rather see you guys invest in a riskier company that still has upward potential. A company like Plug Power, Workhorse, companies like that that still are risky but still have huge upside potential. And either way, you can still get in and make a ton of money. So it's not really about hurting Wall Street because if you're investing in the market, Wall Street's gonna make money no matter what. And it's all about just being smart with your investments. So now that we kind of have a good understanding of GameStop's fundamentals, so that's like the earnings, that's the revenue, stuff like that. Now let's actually talk about their technical support resistance, kind of my price target, so let's go. Alrighty guys, so we have GME. You guys can see that this stock really was not moving a whole lot here for years. And then this, this huge buying pressure, the stock went from $20, pretty much 15, all the way up to highs here at uh, 483. And it was actually 513 uh, pre-market. This is just the high for that certain uh, time period here. But you guys can see the stock pretty much went up and straight back down with huge selling pressure here. Now, I know a lot of people are stating that this stock's still gonna have buying pressure. It's gonna come back up to 500. But obviously, I think it was just a pretty much a pump and dump. And honestly, looking at it, it's still trading at a 52 on the RSI. So it could definitely still continue to sell off. I think it'll probably sell off to about $30 a share and for everybody that's still holding i think it would be better just to cut your losses early even though it is up 19 percent. that could be just another short squeeze of uh short sellers selling their position here i think there's a lot of downside potential here let's go ahead and change the uh chart to the 180 days so we can kind of see it better you guys can see that it went up 513 sold off 
found some support at this old resistance here at 40 and now is coming back up to another resistant here at 70. I do think we'll probably get some selling pressure within the next couple of days and probably get it back down to about $30 a share. $30 a share is my price target, but there's still a lot of risk, a lot of reward with this, and maybe some short-term opportunities. But for but for a long-term investor like myself, I am staying away from GameStop. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go ahead and check out my merch and don't forget to check out my course. And remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone. Bam.